person in this problem walks into an elevator, steps onto a scale, and presses the up button so they accelerate upward at two and a half meters per second squared. Part A of the problem asks us what the scale reads. We'll begin finding this by drawing a free body diagram of the person. Two forces act on the person. Their weight is straight down, and we're told that it equals 625 newtons. And there's a normal force exerted by the scale on the person's feet, straight upwards. That normal force is what the scale reads. We can find it by applying Newton's second law, summing all the forces in the y direction and setting it equal to mass times acceleration in that direction. We'll let positive y be up and add the forces to get n minus w minus on the weight because it acts downwards and that equals mass times acceleration. Solve this for the normal force. Before we can substitute values, we need to know the person's mass, m. Recall that their weight 625 newtons equals mg, so we can solve for the mass, that equals the weight divided by g, finding that it equals 63.8 kilograms. Now we can substitute values into our expression for the normal force. Calculating to find that the normal force equals 784 newtons. Part B says the person then picks up a package with some mass and holds it by a string, and it asks us what the tension is in the string. We'll start finding this by drawing a free body diagram of the package. There are two forces on it. The package has a weight equal to its mass times acceleration of gravity g, and there's a tension. Weight goes down, and tension is directed up. If we sum forces in the y direction, we get mass times acceleration in that direction. Tension is positive, the weight is negative, and the acceleration is 2.5 meters per second squared again. So we can solve this expression for the tension T and substitute all the known values. Calculating to find that T equals 47.4 newtons.